Hello everyone, the 25th genius back with a re renewal video actually. So there was a comment uh, on one of my videos which actually um, quite upset me. So let me just make this very clear before I start this entire video. Um, I am not lashing out to a per to one comment and this is not a video to oh try to get a subscriber or whatnot. No, this is really me actually taking the knowledge that someone was hurt and just because it is one comment that doesn't mean that I'm not going to pay attention to it. The purpose of this channel is for my subscribers, for people who are not even subscribing and just for the community at large. So. As much as I can, I want to make as many people happy as possible. Now, you can't make them all happy, but, you know, I can do a little bit on my part, you know, to make you know, the people who watch my videos very happy. And, you know, I felt that as a content creator, and I uh, apologize because, again, I'm still very new to this, and, you know, I'm still trying my best. And, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trash. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trash. I'm just not gonna lie. I'm the laziest content creator, the trashiest content creator out there. And... You know, like, I apologize, you know, one of my videos, it was never intended to be offensive or uh, disrespectful. Um, I, again, I'm just an idiot. Um, let me tell you why uh, I'm an idiot. Well, let me backtrack um, a little bit. So there's a reason why, uh, so this will be the new video about um, what was I doing. And the reason why that uh, other video is going to stay up, because since this is the first time that this happened to me, I kind of wanted to get as much information as possible so I could become a better content creator. I wanted to see uh, how many people actually, you know, responded to this person's comment and, um, you know, really responded and how they reacted and how other people really felt. And honestly, just a, a lot of numbers um, come into play, came into play as I am just making uh, this video and actually really thinking about it. So that video probably will still be up. I may delete it if I actually remember to delete it. I really don't know at this point, but again, it, it's up there um, for that reason. Also, because I'm not gonna put, put the person's name um, on uh, this video, on this video, because again, this is not to lash out at anyone at all. Um, um, it's really just to say that, you know, I messed up and this is me at least making an attempt. So that's so I'm sorry that the video was um was uh you know you know not out right away. Uh, again, I apologize again. Just really busy with life, you know, with you know the flu and everything, you know. So I apologize for that. Um yeah, and pretty much I'm just gonna redo the video and you know I hope you enjoy it. Uh let me know how I do if you ever watch this video again. But just know that I'm sorry and I'm gonna try to make my best effort. Now with that being said, I'm gonna say a few things. Uh, one, my accent is very horrible, okay? Like, I mean, I speak Japanese and Spanish and my accent is terrible for both of those languages. And I've studied those languages accurately for probably seven plus years. And my accent is as a robot in heat. So again, I apologize. I'm gonna do my best to keep to the accent and keep to, um, you know, just, you know, try to respect the culture in that way. But again, it's going to be very hard for me. Again, I just really apologize. Um, I'll try to do everything else to supplement for that. But that's just a part of um, who I am. And I'm sorry. And another thing, too, is that I try to get as much information uh, as I can about this video and just about, you know, you know, the things that were discussed within the comment and everything. Um, the fact that I also live in Japan it is very hard uh, to find a lot of information, uh, even online, just about uh, certain things because there are just many like restrictions with Japan's internet and media. Like it's hard for me to even make content really because of um, you know the, the rules and restrictions that uh, Japan just has. So again, this is me trying the best that I actually could. And again, like I said, I'm you know it's not really a lot, especially with a culture uh, with a group. Um, or mythology or culture, if you will, whatever word you want to use, uh, you know, such as this. Um, again, it's really not a lot of information that I personally can pull out, you know, from it, unless I went to like a very like uh, elite library and, you know, got a book or something like that. So again, I did my absolute best. I watched videos. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I'm not going to be accurate. I'm not going to be perfect, but I'm going to put my best foot out there. So again, uh, hope you uh, enjoyed the video. So with that being said, uh, let's get started. So today we're going to be reviewing uh, one of the Webtoon Greenlit series, When Yazi Whistles. So uh, what When Yazi Whistles is part of um, Webtoon's Greenlit series. So if you don't know about that, uh, you should probably watch my video because it's very helpful and I said so. So 
there you go but also too i quickly just explain about what this actually is so basically this is it what webtoon green light is okay there's going to be seven series okay maybe nine seven or nine okay and basically every week which looks like it's happening on a friday webtoon is actually going to release three chapters of each series okay so if you really like a series on the third chapter you must like the chapter um in order for your vote to count okay if any chapter gets six thousand more likes on their third chapter it will be greenlit to become a webtoon original this is basically webtoon's way of you know getting a lot of content out there but also really to um letting their uh content creators shine so i think that's a very very good and very very healthy thing now i do feel like the conditions are very very easy because here's the thing there's just been a community of people who just you know like what you read um you know it's been the trend for actually a couple of years about liking um you know you know you know your stuff and you know really supporting the content creators so you know you may not even really like the series that much but just because the creator just put their hard work out there you're going to like it or put a heart to it that there are some people who are very very cons very very careful about what they like and that's fine too one thing i love about the webtoon community is how diverse and how like unique it is also while being kind of respectful as respectful as any media of this time can be so Again, I just think the conditions are too easy. Um, one of the first series actually got greenlit, which is Spells from Hell, which again, you know, I kind of liked, but at the same time, I feel like the third chapter just didn't give me enough reason to continue reading the story. But nevertheless, a lot of people loved it. They loved the artwork, they loved the plot, they loved the characters, and they loved the diverseness of it. So it is now greenlit. The authors seem to be very happy that their work got greenlit. So very heads up for them. So when Yazi Whistles uh, is the second uh, part two of Webtoon's Greenlit series, and actually a series that I was really looking forward to, which is another reason why I'm remaking this video um, so passionately, because I was really looking forward to this video. And when I made the video, I never intended for it to be uh, offensive to anybody so again again just a little quick last apologies for that so what is when yazi whistles about so basically when yazi whistles focuses on one of the most important gods of the guarani mythology okay so really quick about uh guarani so guarani um folk is based in paragua okay um, there are other countries that adopt uh, the Guarani language and culture, such as Bolivia, Argentina, and Brazil. But mainly, um, Guarani focuses in Paraguay, okay? So, um, you know, Par Paraguay is, you know, part of um, South America, um, along with um, all of these um, other countries as well. And the Guarani basically just focus on there. Um, the, it's a very small c uh, culture, small community, um, from, from my opinion, because it was really not a lot that I could really dig up or even research, um, you know, within uh, this, which really shows you how reserved and how, um, you know, like, I want to say, like, in-depth, like, it really is, which is probably why, <laughs> um, you know, things happen the way that they happened. So, uh, about Yasi. So, Basically, the story follows the character of the name Yazi uh, Yathie. Fun fact about this, actually. Um, I thought uh, there was an S in his name, so I did say Jester. Uh, that is just that is just me being stupid, so I apologize for that. I was just being very stupid. I just saw S, I'm like, oh, Jestier. And I'm just like, oh, there is no Jester. Oh, oops. 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 Uh... I cannot read. Uh, that is dyslexia at its finest. But yes, his name is Yazi uh, Yatier. Okay. So basically, who is Yazi Yatier? So there are many, many stories um, in the Guarani mythology about him. Um, there are some stories that picture him as a very nice um, and very calm god who uh, assists children um, um, in their siestas. So siesta is basically the midday traditional nap time that is very popular in a very in a lot of Latin cultures. Um, and he would basically, you know, if they were not uh, up, if they um, were not in time for their siestas, he would often guide them and help them, you know, to have a nice, sweet siesta. There are other stories that are not like that, whereas he gouges kids' eyes out who, you know, do, does not go to sleep. He 
brings them to their brothers so they eat them from flesh and bones. Like, it, 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 they're, they're, can, can you guess where the webtoon actually went with it? I'm gonna give you a hint, it wasn't the nice part of it. So yes, so basically when Yazi Whistles focuses on the darker side of an old Guarani, um, Guarani uh, story of Yazi Yatir. And so this is basically the plot. It uh, focuses in Paraguay, okay? It's very similar, exactly identical to where uh, the story takes place. And we follow our main character by the name of Ella. Um, Ella's uh, best friend is uh, taken uh, by a, by a mysterious of whistles that have plagued their village for so many years, and in fact has um, had a large record of people that are missing. It turns out that the whistles that Ella heard the night that her best friend disappeared were actually part of a um, the stories that they will often hear. Uh, when they were very little, about how Yazi uh, Yatien would uh, take kids for those who were not on time for their siestas. So let me tell you a little bit about Yazi Yatier, um, a little bit more about him. So um, because I want to talk about him because the webtoon really did a very good job on like really depicting Yazi um, to a T actually. So there are many um, um, legends that say yeah, Yazi was not like his brothers. So his brothers are all demons and they are they're very demon like, you know, sheep like, very demonic uh figures. But Yazi was very different from his uh demonic brothers where he actually looks very hot and <laughs> if you if you will to um to that extent. And um a lot of it has it where he has blonde hair and blue eyes. You know sometimes he's carrying a wand or um or staff that if you take you actually get his treasures um to uh wherever like wherever he was guarding his treasures like you have access to that if you're able to take his wand from from him from what many legends that are say but um basically he is the uh he basically took people took kids actually who uh you know did not um was not on time for their siestas and basically the story kind of goes off going back to the webtoon in the sense of um, he kind of is going against his brother. So rather than helping him, he kind of wants to go against him and rebel, which kind of, which from what my reading of it, uh, he assisted his brothers into, uh, you know, helping them feed on kids. But in this case, he really wants to help Ella and her journey to find um, her uh, best, her best friend. What I really like about this webtoon is Again, how you take something so like, you know, unknown, you know, or something so, I don't want to say the word niche, but that word comes to mind. And you not only put your own spin on it, but you keep it as accurate to the source material as possible. I really do enjoy that. That's another reason why I was really excited for um, this series. Um, it's really good that, again, again, like not many people know about this. And, you know, it's something that is very interesting. It's something that's very dark. You're, you're, you're taking the dark themes that, you know, we really like. You're taking the really like adult plot and you're really making it into a very interesting story that is based off something that you grew up with a long time ago. That is absolutely amazing. So I'm really happy that this series actually, since there's no surprise, got greenlit as well so very very excited for this it deserved it um it's a very amazing webtoon very very vivid colors you know very accurate to um very accurate to um you know the culture and the story um of you know yazi out there and again there's really just not much a lot to to say about it i really do thoroughly enjoy it and i'm very excited for when it comes out i'll definitely be doing videos about that if this video is actually very good enough um and yeah like the story is just really good if you haven't checked it out i would suggest you do check it out if you're looking for something that is not look when as we're going into these webtoons and everything you know it's only so much action romance and now stalker romance that you can actually get and it feels good to really see something very unique and i feel like yazi uh when yazi whistles is actually one of those webtoons that will actually you know set a precedent you know something a new topic you know a new theme something interesting something refreshing to read and that's really what i got into it when i was reading it was something very refreshing something new something of a change you know than what i'm used to even reading to myself and i read a lot of these web comics even over line webtoons so again i'm just very excited and i'm very happy uh that uh this series is here and then it got uh greenlit so again 
expect more videos about this coming up in the future i do thoroughly want to talk about it and i want to share this amazing webtoon also i'm doing my best to respect the culture uh in which she came from and that is my video um hopefully the person who's watching this again i apologize let me know how i did um you know if, if i did still didn't do well just let me know um i take all feedback uh you know very 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 hardly so you know again I will try to improve uh, myself the best way I can. But for everyone else, uh, you know, who's watching this, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. But also, honestly, like and subscribe to your content creators because it helps them out a lot. With that being said, I am the 25th Genius. I'll see you next time.